Plowing through the mud. Unfortunately, we caught it at the lowest of low tide. This is such a beautiful anchorage. It's so calm. It's gorgeous. Yesterday night, there was all those coyotes. Tons of birds all over the place, just singing away. You gotta hit bottom every once in a while, right? I love palms in Inlet Creek. Six miles to go to Charleston. Faster! I'm trying. I'm waiting for a gator to jump out and attack us, though. That's fair, I love shoot with my eye. <laughs> So right now we're just plowing through the mud. Um, we're in a pretty shallow section here of the ICW. Unfortunately, we caught it at the lowest of low tide. So, and I mean, there's multiple sections where it says shoaling. Some of it's back in 2016, but it seems like it's still quite accurate. Uh, we're reading anywhere from six feet down to four feet. So we're dragging through mud in some spots. So we're just kind of going from one side to the other, looking for the deeper sections and not moving too, too fast through it. Thankfully, we've got our buddy boat, Northern Wind, Toby and Scott in the boat ahead of us and they draw a little less than us. So they're letting us know when the depths drop too far below five. Well, it's back up to eight, so that's good. Happy days. It's nice when we see seven or eight because we have a lot more room to, uh, a lot more leeway. Oh, wow, it's nine now. Anyway, this section's a little bit stressful. We're going a little slower and we're communicating with them, our buddy boat, uh, where the shoals are supposed to go and which side to favor because they don't seem to have that information on their charts. So yeah, we're doing better now. We're at 11 feet. <laughs> This is gorgeous. We are pulling into Graham's Creek. Hopefully it's deep enough for us to anchor. What's the depth? Uh, 11 feet right now. So it looks pretty good. Yeah, we're still in 10 feet here. There we go, 10 feet. Woo. 10, 11 feet. So we're gonna be good because the tide raises up and down six feet here. We're about two feet into uh, above low tide. So that'll give us plenty of room. They'll not be sitting on the bottom. And it's beautiful. And it's beautiful here. Beautiful. Yeah, this is super cool. Home sweet home. Can I test out your new anchor? Bertha, we'll see how she goes. Alex uh, made some uh, Veggie burgers, if you guys want to join us for supper. Sure. Yeah. Go for a little ride. Uh oh. Back up. Uh oh. What just happened? Oh, well, we just got stuck in the mud. <laughs> we got our auxiliary rudder going right now. Maybe we can turn the boat. This is such a beautiful anchorage, it's so calm and I feel like we're in the 
some sort of swamp anyway. It's super neat. I'm waiting for the alligators. Well, I can see you just need to tape a little lower. You just need to raise it up a bit. So here, I'll, I'll raise it up a little. One of the awesome thing of having a sailboat is that you can climb out of the mass and get a really, really good view of the whole area. It's gorgeous and so calm. It's perfect. So this spot here isn't the most protected from the wind, but tonight wasn't calling for any. And then there's all that grassland all over the place, which looks like alligator country. And that would be breaking the waves. And it's just off to the side of the ICW. It's beautiful. That guy Matt that you met with Matt, he's he's been in the business his whole life. He was exposed. How's the anchorage, everyone? Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. Cheers to an awesome spot. Absolutely. You up there? No, I just, and it was like seventy bucks at oh, St. Shit, Catharines yeah. and Marine, so I'm like, yeah, they're ridiculous. They're expensive. The LED ones. Like, yeah, well, we we got ours we for got like lucky. fifteen, but it yeah. was just that, that just happened to be I don't know. It wasn't even on sale. It was just the no, cheapest one. No, yeah, I'm not even sure because all of them were like yeah, fifty and up. Yeah. Well, we always I'm use like, those mm. blow up lights. They're yeah. awesome. They are, but they're not good enough. No. No. <laughs> we would come into like there'd be like an anchorage like this with like twenty boats, and we'd come in by doing. Like, Hello. Hello. What a nice spot that we chose to sleep. It's been it's been so quiet. Actually really loud at the same time because you can hear so much of the wildlife. Yesterday night there was all those coyotes or dogs or wolves or something just howling and singing. Then this morning as the first shades of light came in, there was tons of birds all over the place just singing away or making some really weird noises. And then the sunrise, it was just so calm. And then the whole sky just colored itself in pink and oranges. And I decided to go for a little dinghy paddle. It's just so peaceful. Except that now there's a couple of fishermen just like driving by, but they're all very considerate, waving, slowing, you know, living their dream, I guess. That's a beast of a pig. You see it's it's tail wiggling around. You know, just hitting bottom. You gotta hit bottom every once in a while, right? Especially with a sandy or muddy bottom, it doesn't hurt as bad. I was uh, looking at the chart trying to pick our anchorage or see how far it was, and I ended up drifting a little too far to starboard and had a nice little bounce with the nice shoal. What is he doing? Looks like he's so stuck or something. I think there's a fish up there. Maybe they're mating. <laughs> yeah, I don't want him to drop. <laughs> 
Yet another beautiful anchorage. We are in Isle of Palms in Inlet Creek. It's like super deep all the way to the shore almost. It's kind of cool. And the tides have been so much higher since we've gotten in these sections of the ICW. Rises like five, six, kind of seven foot. But it's beautiful here. We still hear a lot of nature, even though we're really close to towns. And tomorrow morning, we only have six miles to go to Charleston. Starting to really feel like we're going south. Especially that I've been wearing my sweater way more now. Oh, feels good. And there's tons of dolphins. They just keep swimming around our boat. We even had a mic by land on our solar panels. Gory drop the boat in the water. I want to go take pictures. I'm trying, I'm trying. Quick! Doesn't help me. Faster! Faster! Okay. Go! I'm trying. Faster! I'm trying. <laughs> We are going on an exploration. Hard to steer in this little thing. The current's pulling us. I gotta keep re-steering because our outboard's tricky to steer. This is really cool though. <laughs> I didn't think this thing would last for so long. We just keep going. I'm waiting for a gator to jump out and attack us though. It's way too cold for that. That's true, they're probably moving way too slowly. It just keeps going. Are we gonna get lost? Probably. Oh, it's crazy, like in there, that is so windy, it was super neat. I kind of wish I would have found it before because 